LED light expert here. I'm Dan. We're showing you some more tennis court lighting we've got here. Um, so today we're doing a court with six lights. Um, we're on a separate court right now that still has the old metal halides. Um, this one's got eight lights. Uh, we're going to move over to the six light courts here uh, in a short while in the video. Um, but we wanted to show you the difference in the lighting with this court with eight lights on it. Um, and we've got six of our 500 watt next gen three lights on the new court with the new lights and you'll see quite a bit of a difference in the upgrade in lighting and we're comparing it to eight metal halides versus just six of our next gen three 500 watt lights All right, we want to show you some meter readings on the old court here with the eight metal halides on it. Um, we're, we're up around 200 lux um, right on the, the baseline here, um, straight between two lights. So we should have pretty good lighting right in the middle. Um, only about 20 foot candles, uh, a little bit less than that based on this lux. So we are not very great for sport lighting. At this kind of level, usually we're going to see, you know, 20 is a minimum uh, on most courts, um, fields, stuff like that. But we typically prefer to see 30 plus. Uh, you'll know on our, our other eight court, uh, eight light court with the 500s that we got up to uh, well over 60 foot candles on that court. So we're going to see the difference when we move over to the other court here shortly. All right, uh, just showing you a little bit more on the meter when we're getting in the middle of the court here. We've only picked up about two foot candles. We're about to 220, 230 lux on this. So not much of an increase if we've gotten closer in the middle of the court here. Um, just really not very good lighting on this court compared to what we're going to see with the new next gens. All right, so we are here on the courts with the brand new 500 watt next gen threes. We've got six of those here as opposed to the eight 1000 watt metal halides on the previous court, the old court. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of shadows on me here. It's about 330 lux uh, without me right here with a couple shadows near it. Um, but we're seeing still about 313, 314 lux, so a little over 30 foot candles here. So about a 50% increase with these six lights of the new next gen threes versus the old metal halides. Um, you can also see as you look around on these courts that um, we're not getting a lot of shadows. There, there is more than you would see with uh, eight lights compared to the six here. Um, but with the nice wide beam angles, good spacing with the lights, not a lot of defined shadows, which is really important for sport lighting. So works out great. Uh, six lights is not a problem with the next gen three. They'll do, do the job, whatever you need. All right, so we're showing you the baseline just like we did on the other court. Um, we're seeing right about the same. So about 310 lux here. A um, little over 30 foot candles. So we still got a 50% increase on light. The other thing is that you'll see this is real uniform all around where we had eight of the metal halides. Um, we weren't seeing the exact same light levels in different areas of the court. We've moved from center court out to the baseline and we are getting almost the exact same luck. So we're getting great uniformity out of these nice broad beam angles on these lights to really show them.